Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Scream 6 video. I did one with Samara Weaven, um, and her character as I wrote a script for an opening scene, or a concept script. Today I'm going to be doing the same, but with a different kind of scene. Today I'm going to be predicting how the entire fight sequence will go through a script, or a concept script by me, between Gale and Ghostface. We've seen it in the trailer multiple times before, and even some of it was released online on the Jimmy Kendall show. However, today, I'm going to be predicting a little bit more than that. So, without further ado, enjoy my concept script of the Gale and Ghostface fight in Scream 6. Before I show you guys uh, what I wrote, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any other Scream content. Guys, Scream 6 releases on March 10th in theaters everywhere, so go see it in your local theater. Alright guys, without further ado, here is the concept script. And remember, this is a concept, this is not a spoiler, this is not official, this is none of that. It's just a concept by me. Enjoy, guys. It was Halloween night. The author of now six stab books, Gail Weathers, arrived at her apartment for the night. She could hear her lower neighbors partying. Usually, Gail would go down there, knock on their door, and tell them to shut the hell up, or she would shove a wine glass up their ass. However, tonight was different. It had been a couple months since the one year anniversary of Dewey's death. Gail, to most, had changed. She told herself after leaving Woodsboro for the last time that she would write a book about him. However, she just couldn't bring herself to do it. Gail had been battling depression for the last year and thought that if she wrote another book and kept focusing on her work, then she would escape the world of depression and forget all about it. Even though she tried, she just couldn't. So she had now decided to focus on work everywhere and not think about anything else. Gail walked into her apartment, sat her keys down in purse, and walked into the kitchen. Her personal assistant was there. Hey, I'm gonna edit a story in the living room. Can you, you can head out, Gail said. Okay, see you, her assistant said, as she started walking toward the front door. Gail grabbed her laptop and sat on the couch. The phone rang. Her assistant picked it up. It's for you, he said. Gail picked up the phone. Her assistant headed for the door. Hello, Gail said. Voice. Hello, Gail. Did you miss me? Hello, Gail repeated. Voice. You don't recognize my voice, Gail? Yes, that's why I'm not talking until you turn off that voice changer app and talk to me, Gail said firmly. Voice. Oh, well, I'm not using a voice changing app. But while I have you here, let's play a game. Really? A game? You know, you're like the 10th person to try this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask, Gail said. Voice. Maybe you're right, but there's never been one like me, Gail. Oh, please, don't die. Just like the rest of them, Gail said. I stopped nine others before, and I'll stop you the same, she continued. Voice. Yeah? Well, how about you try to stop in this? At that moment, a body was thrown through Gail's shelf. Gail, startled by, by this, screamed and turned around. Her, the body of her assistant, who had been stabbed and went in front of her, was her life's nightmare, Ghostface. Gail watched as he stepped over her broken shelf. Gail's adrenaline picked up. Ghostface leaped and swung at Gail. Gail ran to the kitchen with Ghostface in hot pursuit. Ghostface swings and misses. Gail grabs a frying pan, hits Ghostface with it in the head, and she runs for the balcony. He is still in hot pursuit. As Gail struggled with the door for a sec, she finally swung it open and ran to the balcony. She looked behind her. He is still after her holding the knife. Gail opens a glass door on the other side and runs in, looking behind her. Ghostface pops out and tries to push the door open, but with a struggle, he stands there. Gail watches horrifyingly as her nightmare stands within inches of her. She looked back. He was gone. She caught glances around her apartment. Then a flash of a black cloak, Ghostface had entered through the patio door, left open by Gail near the living room. Ghostface now ran toward Gail, who runs to her room and locks the door. She then runs to a panic. She panically runs over to her safe, unlocks it, and grabs her pistol. She points at the door as Ghostface bangs on it. Ghostface, come on, Gail, you can't stay in there forever. You have to face me at some time. I know, and that's why I'm going to shoot you in the effing head, Gail said firmly. She stepped closer to the door, realizing she still had the phone in her shaky hand. Then the door busts open, and Ghostface grabs onto Gail. He knocks her to the ground as the gun falls out of her hand. Ghostface inches the knife toward Gail. Gail looks up, petrified by her sight. She uses all of her strength to push the knife away from her. 
So as you can see, um, that is the entire sequence I predicted, except I did leave the end in anonymous for the purpose of whoever's watching, for you guys watching, or for the audience at all, just for everyone to kind of make their own ending. I mean, that is up to the theory. Do you guys think she'll live? Do you think I think she'll die? What do you think will be Gail Weathers' fate in Scream 6? Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, I also um, made that fight um, as closely as I could to some things in the TV spots. Um, there was other lines released. So yeah, I did my best with that. Um, and I hope you guys liked it. Um, I, I don't know if that is how it's going to go. I think that is a decent prediction. Um, at least a good portion of that. And we've seen a lot of clips of her. So I try to mash it all together in the best possible way I could have. I don't know the layout of the apartment. I don't know if that can really work. But... We'll have to see when the uh, movie releases in less than a week now. I'm very pumped. I hope everyone else is. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And let me know in the comments again if you guys think Gail Weathers will die or live in Scream 6.